what from last week and I'm noticing his muscles are turning into butter man this is like I mean before it was like Kevlar and and now it's turning into human tissue and I say human tissue because this feels normal anything other than feeling normal is not completely human it may be 99.9% .9%, but still why would you want to wear um, a heavy concrete vest when you don't have to but but this man this feels yeah this this man look at that that is like jello that's how it's supposed to be okay so he's having pain in this area this area and that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna basically do what I did last week get here here just get the whole thing okay but I'm gonna start here yeah I actually stayed uh Everything was pretty good. Sunday I started freezing up again where I was having, I noticed when I started stretching, mm -hmm. it wouldn't let out. Because I'd gone roller skating. I only went around once. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think it kind of froze me up a little bit. But I'm, I'm better today. So. Okay, okay. Now, now <clears throat> if you have wrist pads, please use them. Yeah. And, and a helmet. Man, I'd hate for you to get uh, some type of uh, injury. After all this work, I'd be upset. Yeah, so, so 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 you you're a huge investment yeah. <laughs> but just take care of yourself that's all have fun sure yeah I, mean, I never go it was my wife's birthday she's like oh we're gonna roller skate so, oh she did yeah that's cool yeah. so apparently she roller skates a lot no no she doesn't either it was just you know kind of a throwback oh wow You know, I haven't really done a lot of scars lately, but now that I'm working on yours, maybe yours is just one that is just locked up. It's like non-human tissue in there. I mean, like I've been putting uh, trying needles in there. Most of them I've been, so I have to go kind of a little further out. You can't. I'll go like to the side and then try to poke underneath it. Mm -hmm. But it'll, I'll bend like 50% uh, of them. Woo! But man, it's, it has made like a, the, the biggest difference. Okay, good, good. It's getting stuff moving. It's almost like I was getting everything else moving, but that area yeah. just would not go. That, it's, um, you know, I, I've been doing this for 18 years, and every, the easy patients you don't learn very much on. It's, it's the complicated ones that allow you to mm, kind of step into the unknown but with this therapy I can't really hurt you uh, it's just a matter of a comfort zone the, I mean they can't hurt you no more than the surgery um, but I, I'm, I'm glad this is working out oh, man. Oh, and I hadn't taken any, uh... Mm, 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 yeah, that's a, a leather right there. I'll, I'll show you the video of it. Oh, the needle bent. I'm goofing around. Say again now, I'm sorry. I hadn't taken any, uh... So they switched me to Sublov, which is like Suboxone, you know, it's a new... Mm -hmm. But, uh, I hadn't taken anything since, uh... Uh, last Wednesday, except for the Marinol. Mm-hmm. So, actually, like, I just pretty well. I was thinking, like, maybe second or third day, I was getting with some withdrawal, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I really, uh, just the energy levels was pretty low, but other than that, but I don't think I could do that without, like, once you work on that scar, mm -hmm. that kind of allowed me, because otherwise I was just locked up most of the time up there, but, uh, you get some freedom, you know, and, Now, for the video viewers, I'm aiming at a safe area just in case, like that is stuck. And I want it to slip. So I'm going to push my hand here and just use my fingertips. 
Nope, it's not boot moving. <coughs> Roller skating. Now that's bold. I I'm glad you. I'm glad you. Okay, I now. Around one time, so I was done after because I. It's not tense. Normal, yeah. So. You were tense. Yeah. No, no, on the on the yeah. Yeah, because the balance. You know, you're trying to balance. Yeah. Spot and stuff pretty good. And I had walked. Actually, I'd say I'd walked uh, like four days in a row for an hour, and my low back was. It's probably a little too much. Uh, actually, uh, yoga. You should be doing a lot. I did, I've been stretching. I'm not kidding you. Like I'll, but so something about the Marinol, like I'll take that and I can stretch for like an hour and a half, which is great because I can get range that I normally can't. That's what's so awesome about it. Mm. And, uh, and I can just, you know, instead of doing it for 10 minutes, you know, I can just a really long time. So I've got the yoga routine, you know. Good. Sort of modified for my, uh, you know, my issues and stuff, so it's not straining me. I kind of I learned it from some lady a long time. They want you, there was a patient I had who was uh, a, a pretty active young lady, and she started tightening up. Uh, not Kevlar tightening up, but uh, she was more like you're uh, basically, there's five levels. There's, uh, and filet mignon is the, the, the normal. Uh, she was halfway between where you are and, uh, and, and normal. So her case, um, all I had to do was just do a little bit of pecking, pecking up and down her spine. And she, Five years ago, they told her to never do yoga again. It would okay. mess her up. It's like, wait a minute, telling someone not to do yoga? And now she's like, she's so excited. She's a yoga instructor now. <laughs> okay, okay, now, now, okay, now, do not believe what people say, uh, particularly if it goes against nat the natural laws of biology, physics, chemistry, and the human. That once you once you tell the human body. Once you give up on the human body, it's like you might as well. That's not logical. Yeah. It's not. It it is it is not logical at all. Okay, I'm gonna go up in here. Pinch. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'm just peppering the whole area. Oop, oh, peppering the whole area. We're still on I'm sorry. We're still on camera. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Uh huh. No, no. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah. I'll wait till I turn it. I'm gonna do the other side, then I'm gonna turn it off. Just so folks. That's okay. Oh, the I had a, a a new patient who requested auto inoculation, auto blood inoculation, where you draw the blood. He had a complicated pain syndrome, and he had done it someplace in the Europe. Drew his blood, uh, five or ten cc's out of his arm, and re-injected it in his hips. And I read it. I says, "Well, it it's it makes sense." So I tried it. Uh, I mean, it's simple. Um, the and, and I'll let you know how that works. But it's it is a bleeding technique. And anytime you bruise or bleed yourself, you're activating Mother Nature. Right. I couldn't convince him the needles were a, a better idea. Right. But on any account, if you fall, you bruise. If you yeah. get hit with a bat, you bruise. If you uh, extend yourself in the gym, you bruise, and bruising activates Mother Nature. So, the uh, skating is good, and falling is good. Yeah. Um, but you know, shit happens, and um, 
just be careful, Pinch. So auto, it's called auto blood inoculation. Yeah. So when you inject the blood, is signal, you just it signals to the body like, oh, this area is injured. It, it just turns on the the healing the process. Healing. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. And uh, and, and the, I'm I'm glad you said those words because I've stopped I'm stopped using technical terms because since we don't have to know all we have to do is do mother nature takes care of the wet takes care of the rest so all I'm doing is sticking you with needles yeah. I mean you can formalize it and make it scientific but all I'm doing is it's just sticking you with needles right. I'm gonna turn this off so yeah it sounds like it's the same mechanism